So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a follow me around style video in the salon so you can watch me do hair. My first client, um, as you can see, she's got some pretty big hair, so we are just going to paint on a balayage, make her a little bit lighter and brighter, and then blow dry and flat iron her hair, just give her a little bit of a different look. So I'm painting on the balayage pieces, I'm doing a deep V technique, and I'm leaving the middle dark because I want to be a little bit more of a color melted effect. So before I put the foil in, I paint the sides in the V, and then I put the foil in, use it as my board kind of and I paint the ends just to make sure that it goes from a very color melted effect and the ends are a little bit lighter than the rest of her hair. I'm actually only using 10 volume for her whole head which is crazy because you'll see how light she gets. Um, yeah so I we really didn't want this to be too light we just wanted it to be a little bit lighter than the rest of her hair. Um, she still wanted it to be very warm so that is why I chose 10 volume and yeah so I'm just gonna go throughout her whole head in the back and the sides and I kind of alternate between some baby lights and some balayage techniques and I just kind of switch it up throughout her whole head she does have very curly hair and she does like to wear it natural so we just want to keep in mind that when her hair is natural um, it's going to kind of lose a little bit of that lightness, so it is going to look a lot lighter when it's straight than it does when she leaves it natural. When I'm done applying all of her foils, then I'm going to let her process for about 20 minutes, and then I'm going to rinse her out and tone her. I normally tone at the shampoo bowl, but she has a lot of hair, so I wanted to make sure that I get even saturation, so I brought her back to the chair to tone her. So I originally toned her with um, 7G and 8GI, but it wasn't dark enough um, the first time. Like I said, she lifted a lot lighter than what I expected, and even though we only used 10 volumes, she did lift a lot lighter. So I ended up retoning her again with 6GB by Redken Shades EQ. And I wanted to include that in there and just tell you that I did end up toning her twice just to kind of show um, all you hairdressers out there or even if you're in beauty school or whatever, if you do have to tone something twice or add a low light or something, it's not. it doesn't mean you messed up or you're a bad hairstylist or anything. Sometimes you just have to know, you know, what you're looking for and then trial and error. So it's not that the first toner was bad, it's just not exactly what we were looking for. So it was very pretty in the beginning, but she just wanted to be a little bit darker, so we just had to throw another toner over. It's a simple fix, and I just kind of wanted to include that in the video, just because not everybody is perfect the first time. And sometimes you have to kind of go in with a second toner, or, you know, just kind of do what you need to do to make the client happy. So this is the after we went outside. It's just so pretty, very warm, like what she wanted. And you can see that she still does have a darker root, and it's just very color melted. So my second client, I didn't get any footage of the process, but she just wanted an updo. She had a wedding to go to, so we just did this cute little half up, half down with a braid. And then... For this next one, I'm doing a, just kind of like a full highlight, some baby light, just a standard highlight, and then um, we, we wanted to go a little bit lighter, so I used, she has very dark hair, so I used 30 volume to touch up the highlight, and then just to kind of pop open the cuticle a little bit to take a toner better, I'm running it through the ends with 10 volume, just to get it a little bit lighter, and I definitely used Olaplex as well in um, all of these formulas that I did today. So for her shadow root, um, as you'll see in a second, I mix 6N and 7N by Redken Shades EQ, and that's just going to give a little bit of a shadow, um, but we did do the highlights all the way to the scalp, but it's just going to blend her natural in with the highlight just so it's not like a level 4 against a level 7 or 8 highlight. And then I'm toning her ends with um, 9P, 9V, and 9T. Um, by Redken Shades EQ. I actually, it wasn't 9V, it was 8V. So it was 8V, 9P, and 9T by Redken. And as you can see, this is after, very blended and pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and thumbs up this video so I know to create more. And I will see you in my next video.